Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be looking at a couple of new evolutions of Eevee, which are coming out in the Pokemon trading card game. They are promos which are being released in Japan, and here's what's super weird, right? Here's what is confusing me greatly. We are getting a promo Flareon. And we are getting a promo Vaporeon. That in and of itself, not too weird. What's weird is that they're coming in a Jolteon box. That's right. Buy a Jolteon box. You get a promo Flareon. You get a promo Vaporeon. You get Jolteon GX, I suppose. But you don't get a promo Jolteon. Having said that, given that you do get the deck box, I'm sure you're not going to be too upset about it. So... What do they do? Are they any good? Are they playable? I actually did the translations for these myself because they're actually pretty obvious when you remember what the cards are. I did check them against previous cards with similar things, but before I upload this video, I will quickly check with a lovely David Hockman just to make sure I've not done a silly. So, the thing to remember about evolutions nowadays is that they all evolve from Eevee, hence the term evolution. And the thing is, we've got the Sun and Moon Eevee at the moment, which is phenomenal. You attach a basic energy to it, you search your deck for a Pokemon of the same type as the basic energy you attached, that evolves from Eevee, pop it onto Eevee, and you are ready to rock and roll. It's really, really, really quite nice. And let's not forget, we looked at Vaporeon and Flareon GX the other day. Don't worry, I will pop links to these videos in the description. So can they hang? Now, we said that Vaporeon was the worst of the GXs. And to be frank, this Vaporeon, not particularly good. 120 HP is bad. It means you're popping into the whole range of Buzzwall and Zoroark and all of that. And it's a water Pokemon, which is fine because you're hitting weakness on Blacephalon. Except, as we're going to see in a minute, the attacks aren't really doing very much. Now, you do have access to Aqua Patch, which will help you to accelerate energy. And let's not forget that Quagsire is great at popping energy to an active water Pokemon. But we need some good attacks. It can't just be accelerating energy. You've got to be able to attack. And there's nothing on this Vaporeon that fills my heart with joy. Water and a colorless 30 damage. Really? It's on a stage one. And it does 30 for water and a colorless. To put this into context, you could take something like a Latios, which for a double colorless energy, i.e. a much better energy cost, does 30 to the active and 30 to the bench. One of the bench. And it's a basic, and it's only got 10 less HP, and it hits for a much better weakness, and it has a lower retreat cost. Yeah, I cannot go in on the first attack but maybe the second attack is better water water colorless 80 damage heal 30 from this pokemon now to be fair that's pretty nice healing you're healing a quarter of your hp every single turn the thing is we'll get to the healing in a moment the 80 damage is kind of underwhelming the best thing you're hitting for weakness at the moment is Blacephalon. And without a choice band, you're not getting a KO here. Without a choice band, you're doing 160, even bearing in mind the weakness. And that is essentially unforgivable as far as I can see. The fact that you're putting free energy, because there's no double colorless, it's free separate energy. The fact that you're putting free energy onto a stage one with not much HP, and you're still not getting a KO on the most relevant Pokemon... I am not in favour of that. And to be fair, right, in terms of healing, we can heal nicely. We've got Lana, which is a supporter card that heals 50 damage from each of your Pokemon with any water energy attached, which is quite nice. Don't forget we've got the Manaphy from Shining Legends, which has a lovely little ability that lets you heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon with water energy attached. And let's not forget that the GX has an ability that heals 30 damage from your active water Pokemon. So between the attack healing and Vaporeon GX and Manaphy, you're already healing 80 damage per turn. And you can, of course, play multiple Manaphy or Lana or something like that to increase it even further. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is it's free energy on a stage one and you're not doing enough damage. 
and even with all the healing, you've got 120 HP. You just ain't lasting very long. Vaporeon GX is the worst of the EVGXs, and I'm sorry to say, ladies and gentlemen, this promo doesn't make it any better. But maybe Flareon can be our savior. Maybe Flareon is good. And I'll give you this, Flareon is an awful lot better. Now, in terms of the typing here, you do get to hit weakness on stuff like Duskmane Necrozma, which is quite nice, and Grass Pokemon Decidueye comes to mind as a Pokemon that's seeing a lot more play lately. And yes, you'll actually be doing enough damage to KO them, which is quite nice. Then, of course, we've got 110 HP, which okay is lower, but we've got two nice attacks. First attack, one colorless energy, 20 damage. Is this phenomenal? No, not by any stretch of the imagination. But it's a single energy attack, so you attach a fire energy to Eevee, search for Eevee, evolve it up, and then you can be attacking. And with a choice band against something like a Decidueye, you're doing 100 damage. Now, that's not really getting into KO range, but Shrine of Punishment, couple of attacks, you never know you could get there. It's not a good attack. But as a single energy attack on a non-GX Pokemon that you can get rolling in one turn, you can go second, start with an Eevee, attach to fire energy, do 20. It's not a good attack, but it's a cheap, quick attack, the likes of which Vaporeon doesn't have. It does make me wonder if anyone designing these cards just doesn't like Vaporeon. Personally, I think Vaporeon is the worst of the original Eeveelutions, but it kind of seems like it's getting picked on at this point. But the second attack here is one that I really, really like. Fire, fire, colorless, 130 damage, discard two fire energy attached to this Pokemon. And 130 is key here. 130 is a wonderful, wonderful number. In terms of non-GXs, it is the key number. Boswell, Shining Lugia, Granbull. There's a whole bunch of Pokemon at the moment, non-GXs. The vast, vast majority of relevant non-GXs either have 130 or have less. So what we have here is a non-GX attacker that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with non-GX attackers. Then remember that you double for weakness against a whole bunch of Pokemon up to 260. Even something like a Metagross is going down here. So if you're hitting against GXs with weakness, you're KOing. Against non-GXs, you're KOing. This gives you a really, really nice non-GX attacker. And this fits beautifully into a Flareon GX deck. This works very, very nicely indeed with Flareon GX. So Flareon GX has a really, really nice suite of attacks. It is, as far as I'm concerned, the best of the new Evolution GXs. The first attack for one fire energy does 30 damage and attaches free fire energy from your hand to your Pokemon in any way that you like. And do remember that Fiery Flint is a thing nowadays, which can be used to search all that energy out, so that you can then attach it using Flareon's ability. And what's super good about Flareon, when you attach using this attack, you're still attaching from your hand, so if you use this to accelerate energy to benched EVs, you can evolve up into Flareon. Because even though you're attaching it using an attack, you're still attaching it from your hand. And this is actually a really good partner. You've got Flareon GX, which helps you to accelerate the energy. So now you're not worried too much about the energy cost. You can manage it quite nicely. And now you've got a really nice non-GX attacker. If you need a big powerful Pokemon to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Boswell GX, well, you've got Flareon. If you're up against Rayquaza GX, well, the non-GX Flareon's just not going to do very much. But you've got Flareon GX. But if you're hitting for weakness against something like a Decidueye, if you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe against a non-GX attacker, in comes non-GX Flareon. And remember that Flareon and Flareon GX have different names. You can play more than four combined, as long as you play no more than four of each. And you can now play EV GX and the EV from Sun and Moon, so you can even have kind of eight EVs in your deck if you so wish.
I really, really like this as a non-GX attacker in Flareon GX decks. I think it works beautifully. I think Vaporeon kind of sucks. But I think this Flareon is a really, really good attacker. And outside of Flareon decks, you're not playing the Eevee anyway. You don't have that inbuilt energy acceleration with Flareon GX. Maybe it's not as good. But in a deck where you're already playing Eevee, where you've got energy acceleration built in, and you've got a really powerful GX that may well want a non-GX attacker, it's phenomenal. I'm giving Vaporeon two Wossies, because I only give less than that when I'm offended, but I'm giving this non-GX Flareon between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies, that would be barbaric. I don't think in a huge amount of decks it's going to be amazing, but I do believe strongly that in a deck where you're playing Flareon GX, this is a really nice attacker. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a part of the video where you tell me what you think about Flareon and Vaporeon if you really want to. Go nuts in the comment section, but please do remember the rule. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all of that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays for some more wassy action but by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio